What up, it's your boy Darks back at it again with another video. And today we're here with To Your Eternity episode or To Your Eternity Season 2, episode 16. Last episode was tough um to to get through. Um not not, you know, it, it to your eternity things happened. Um people that we saw as friends ended up dying. Um the the three knights, Messer uh, Hi uh, Hiro and Kai and Fushi is not doing well. Um, now we know that that he can bring people back, and unknowingly he he's brought back March, which I am still j oh oh my god the amount of happiness that I'm gonna feel when they actually find each other again is is incredible um but now we know that he can he can bring others back um so while he's not doing well right now eventually when he learns that he can bring them back will you know he'll i i'm hope i'm hoping that he'll be a lot better mentally now d is this a good thing bringing them back personally personally and, and maybe and maybe a bunch of people disagree with me um and that's okay but personally I do not think that's a good idea. Would, would I like March, Tanari, and everybody else to live forever? Goo Goo, I, bro, Goo Goo is my fucking dog. Do I want them to live forever? Yes. Do I think it's a good idea for them to live, for them to live forever? Whether it be because they they've turned into immortals or because Fushi keeps bringing them back, I don't think that's a good idea. Um, so we'll see what happens. Um, at for now i'm just going to enjoy the the potential good news on the horizon so if you haven't already subscribe like comment all the other stuff if you're just a lurker i appreciate you too if you have any requests whether it be more to your eternity or something totally different the best place in that in it's always my social media link's going to be in the description below and if you want these episodes early subscribe to my patreon link's going to be in the description for that as well i appreciate everybody that does subscribe i don't say that enough and i know i don't say that enough but i'm I, i'm going to start making it a point to say that that more because i feel like on, on a real note i do not i do not thank uh my viewers and supporters enough so i appreciate uh people that do subscribe as well we also have a discord if you want to talk more um to your eternity or anything else that we're watching on the channel so with all that being said let's get our headphones make sure they're on god my hair is getting too long hello is it coming on it's a parade inside my city, yeah. Okay, hang on. Is it dead? Uh, it's probably dead. Let's see. Them bitches are on. They were dead. And let's just get into it. Jesus fucking Christ. Man, Fushi Jaeger is kind of a demon, bro. I ain't about to lie. As much as as much as I I, I would not like Fushi to you know lose himself in his own rage and frustration um fushi i i am interested i am pretty morbidly interested in seeing what fushi is like when he's when he just says fuck it i don't care anymore right um a lot of characters in anime usually have that moment where they say fuck it i don't care anymore um but we've never got that from from fushi um at least not in the traditional sense um we got it kind of with Hayase, but like now this is a totally different fushi that we're seeing or at least a totally different um reaction from fushi uh we've never really seen him completely just give up out, out of exhaustion be like i'm just gonna kill them all fuck it you know it's crazy fuck nigga feel that oh my god oh he's going crazy fuck all that so here's a new one, nigga. Good lord, Fuji. Doing God's work. Well, he is God, so. Oh, man. Good shit. Oh, my God, Fushi. That is hardcore. Nah, that nigga, he, he cooking. He cooking. That nigga cooking right now. Nice. Like, the amount that Fushi could get done is insane. Oh, my God. Wow. 
Wow. That's insane. Pussy, feel that. Which is. Uh, oh. Oh my god, bro. It like the fact that he's just like a, a walking arsenal is so like a walking arsenal of people. Oh wow, yeah, Kai's weapon was a demon. What the fuck? Oh, he had that bitch on him? Oh, he had that bitch on him! Oh my god! Everybody take this bitch! Use it! Suddenly buried his face. Oh shit. What now? What now? What the fuck? Okay. Okay, you motherfuckers. Y'all think that I'm pussy out here. Oh shit, they got Oniguma. Yeah. What? Yes! <laughs> Oh! Oh my god! I... I... Did we bring... Did we bring them back when, like... When we got hurt? Or when the body died? Or Yeah, it's, it's, a, it, it's the... Is it because y'all are on the rope? Oh. Oh, this is crazy, Defushi. This is so crazy, Defushi. He has a knife. So is it is it when you cut the rope? Because that's what that's what tethers them, right? It tethers them to Fushi's body. But if you cut it, then, yeah, yeah. So if you cut it, it tethers them to Fushi's body. But if you cut it, then it's it's a vessel. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. Let's get it. Oh shit! Back up, nigga! Back up, you rally boys! Oh. This is so yeah, deathless allies. This is exactly what you wanted, huh? Oh, shit. Nice, nice. We're back. We're back. Yeah, make new bodies for him. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh shit, another one. Run, lady! Why are you out here? Okay. Nosy ass nigga, what the fuck is wrong with you? Get out. Oh shit. Oh. Let's go, messer. Let's go, messer. Bitch ass nigga. Fuck out of here, for I'll blast you. Good shit, master. Man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, he's just so smart. Yeah. They gave them infinite spawn points. Infinite stock. Right. Okay. Man. Oh shit. 
I guess the enemy's gonna reach you. They, you threw yourself? You threw yourself. <laughs> okay, nice. Oh no, he threw the the Eternal Warriors or whatever. Well, just kill yourself. Which sounds horrible. <laughs> Are they really about to do it? Oh my god, they were. <laughs> I was kidding. I was kidding. Wait, I was kidding. Do me first. He doesn't want to kill himself. You know, he can't do it. I was completely kidding. Oh my god, I was kidding. They fucking killed themselves. Oh my god, I need to blow my nose. What? Oh, this is the knock. Let's go, let's go. What we got, what we got, what we got? Koku! Watashitachi wa sono ba ni todomari, nakama o kyugo shite itan de. What happened to you? So shitara, nokka ma yatsu, ore ra no iru daikyu joto o nerai uchi shite ki yagatta. Huh. Sore ni tsuite wa, mo o ayamari mashita yo ne. Ayamari te sumu hanashi jya nai da ro! Koku ga yatta no sa, yuis no ude o kiri o sashi yagatta. Did she have a knocker in it? Yatta no wa hidari te desu. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You, damn, you really got some of that, that high saying, you know? <sighs> I, I get it. I, I, I understand why he did it. What? <laughs> あの人は裏リスにいた時と同じように不死を利用して自分の地位を上げたいだけだ。悪いことだ。戦っているか。神は私たち人間を。Your <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh man. Oh man. Don't start sounding like them. Yeah, don't start sounding like them. Oh, don't start sounding like them. Yeah, just can't shut out all the feelings, dog. Life? Yeah. <laughs> Life, my niggas. It, that's it. It's that simple. We're trying to... Might be... Protecting life as well. That's fair. But he also just loves... <gasps> Marchi. Oh. March is doing great. No. <laughs> no. No. Don't don't leave me off on that one. Art. <sighs> Not March. My dog. I, that's my dog for real. That's really my dog, bro. That's really my dog, bro. Man. Oh man. Okay. That uh man got hey, got my boys back. We didn't like we didn't like completely bring back everybody. I mean, I, I don't know if we will completely bring back everybody, but hey, at least we got the boys back, right? And we have March. Um of course cuz March is come on. It's, it's March is doing great. Oh my god, way to bring that one back, man. Way to bring that one back. Um, okay. So, 
but we got a we got a, a a great a great display of how efficient fushi could be right um i think that was the biggest thing here is just seeing how efficient fushi could be um throughout the beginning of this this episode we saw how like how well fushi can make use of the bodies that that he like the bodies the tools and everything else that he's given um as i was saying during the during the op i i was morbidly curious to see how fushi handles himself when he is just on straight up offense right um not really worrying too much about about protecting people but just straight up demonic offense non-stop you know um that's what i that's what i was looking at right um and in in the beginning of this episode we absolutely saw that not only that but like he was going the extra mile he was like recreating bullet or like recreating ammo and like on the fly he was switch like he was like switching bodies on the fly and like on top of that we got this um like the i was about to call him the announcer <laughs> we got the um narr the narrator um or the creator they're the same person um but we had the narration which kind of went in in a way went in depth to show us just how how complex fushi's moves were uh of like switching to kai because he has a sturdier body and and switching to to hyro because he can ignore pain but then like the drawback with hyro is that since he can ignore pain he doesn't know when he's hurt and he can't know when other people are hurt too you know uh messer who is who is really who's slow and heavy but he's slow and heavy because he keeps that bitch on him right um it, it's it was so cool because it, it it seemed like a video game right I think that that's 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 really what it is right is that it seemed like a video game um where you're switching out through through uh different powers and attacks and stuff like that and you're interchanging them in order to get your your bet like the best uh, outcome in whatever level stage or whatever you're in right um that's what it seemed like and that's why it was so entertaining to see fushi um switch between different people and stuff like that and that that's been all of the all the show right it's just that in this episode they really put it on display um and it goes a bit further right um with the whole video game thing because after battling it out with so many knockers and stuff like that oh my god this chair is not doing great um after battling it out with so many knockers and stuff like that eventually he gets saved by the people who he thought would people that he thought were dead right um hyro messer and kai showing us showing him that he can bring people back right now this is this is where we really get to see fushi shine right we get to as morbid as it is this is where we get to see fushi at at his current peak right i say current peak because let's be real fushi is fushi is a potential god right he is a, he is a god in training so yeah this is his peak for now right but getting to see that is something special because we have seen fushi be so um be so passive when it comes to fighting and and reluctant when it comes to truly using his power his powers or just straight up ignorant to how his powers work in the way of like the revival thing um or the resurrection i guess uh but now that he knows he can revive them and he and he understands a, a small scope of his power he's now he's now becoming a he's now becoming better at using his pieces on the board um for you know for lack of a better better phrasing i guess you could say um he's he's way better at using his pieces on, on the board right and we get to see even more of that which with him like creating spawn points for the uh for the the immortal warriors and stuff like that which it which also really fucking cool really cool application um and a really good idea if they die and i can just bring them back i will just keep track of them <clears throat> i'll just keep track of them 
and when they die i'll spawn them back by by simply making vessels for them so eventually they, they'll get killed by a knocker and then their spirit will wander into the next vessel so basically making eternal or like the eternal warriors that that uh we were talking about here in, in the beginning and at the at the uh, uh beginning of, of the episode now <clears throat> With all, with the whole eternal warrior thing and, and the immor and having more immortals by proxy of um, Fushi's uh, resurrection ability, it's one thing I will say is that it it runs the risk of being a little too morbid, right? Um, not for the show, but for for Fushi um, when. <laughs> when they were like how are we going to get back and and i was and i was like kill yourself right because because i'm looking at this as, as a as a video game right and I, there have been many of times in video games where i'll be like how do i get back to this place without like without walking all the way there fast travel yeah but then if fast travel isn't exactly an option you just kill yourself <laughs> you just kill yourself and you spawn back to you spawn back at, at the main you know spawn point or whatever so using a bit of, of gaming logic <laughs> using a bit of gaming logic um you can kind of see you can kind of see how they can use the the whole fast travel thing now the reason i bring this up is not just because it, it's it was cool and like oh video games stuff like that but the reason i bring this up is that it is extremely extremely morbid like if you really think about what they're doing here is that they are that they are killing themselves in order to be reborn and sometimes they just did it out in front of everybody else um <clears throat> the reason why this is so bad is because one is just straight up morbid right it's straight it's not good I, i'm going to assume it's not good for their mental health and it's not good for fushi's mental health either um <clears throat> a good a good like thing to point out is that messer didn't want to kill himself messer was afraid to kill himself now while it, it it played out as like a gag of like messer being like oh hey whoa whoa wait kai shoot me first right shoot me first because and, and then you can shoot yourself like just just shoot me right here bro and and, and get it over with so I, I i don't have to feel anything or whatever right <clears throat> he wanted it over quick so mess like with Hyro, I can understand Hyro. Hyro doesn't feel any pain. Hyro is 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 like a low key daredevil in in that way. Um, so I expect Hyro to be like, all right, well, I guess I'll just shoot myself and blast his fucking head off, right? Kai, being the the big strong, you know, burly man and and kind of just like okay with everything and even even killed and stuff like that. Um, I expect for him to to catch on fast, you know. So he did it. He was gonna do it too. Messer did not want to do it. Now, like I said, it does play out like a gag, but I feel like that that's a preamble to to or not a preamble, but maybe a warning, right? May it, like sometimes in shows show like sometimes shows will give you warnings, right? Um, whether it's like a warning of like things to come, or whether it's a warning of like this plot point is not like this plot point is either important or something that you should pay attention to or it this plot point is something right and messer not wanting to kill the kill himself was that warning for me um being being able to kill yourself that easily takes a lot of d like desensitization right um that and it takes a lot of um i want to say courage i want to say courage right because it it's it, it, let's be real it's a scary thing to think about blowing your head off <laughs> um courage might not be the best word for it uh but it, 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 it takes a lot to to try to kill yourself right and eventually you lose you lose sight of what that means right you're taking your own life you kind of lose sight of what that means when it's simply just to spawn back right and you can see in fushi's eyes when 
when uh, Hiro did it the first time, he he kind of looked over and, and was like perturbed, like just beside himself for for a split second, and then it seems like he realized what um, what Hiro was doing. Um, but it's that split second of him being perturbed is, is what is the only thing I, I care about because it shows that there's a spark of, of Fushi that really did not like that. And then the, and then the spark died out as Fushi realized what he was, what, um, what he was doing, right? That is a form of desensitization. Fushi at that moment may have desensitized himself a little bit uh, towards the whole thing of of them killing themselves and that is the last thing that we need right if anything if anything when it comes to like what Hyro was saying uh not Hyro, Jesus fucking Christ um Kahaku um when it comes to what Kahaku was saying um I completely I I, I do agree with him in in a way I do agree with him right um, I do believe that Fushi's humanity needs to be protected. Problem being is really just how, or I keep wanting to call him Hiro, how Kahaku is going about it, right? Um, when Messer first died, Kahaku was the one that killed him. Kahaku looked back, oh shit, you're infected, bink, and just killed him, right? Um... And with the the girl that's on the ground, you know, her arm was infected by a knocker. Yeah, it, it, it's it was a good idea to help her out <laughs> by cutting her arm off. He did do a good thing. Problem being is how desensitized Kahaku was to cutting the 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 girl's arm off, right? And and saying like how. Um, what we're fighting for is stupid or like it's not worth it and we don't know what we're fighting for when it's very simple what we're fighting for we're fighting for life right um for the the basically the same thing that that fushi is right to make sure that that life is preserved um so it it's it shows me just how desensitized kahaku is right and when he's what he's basically um I was about to say portraying, proposing to Fushi is that he should be doing the same thing, desensitizing yourself. Don't feel anything, just do it because, you know, it, it's it's the right thing. It's, it's the right thing to do. It's the clever thing to do. It's the intelligent thing to do, right? It's the smart thing to do, right? Um, but that would probably, like, once again, that would make it to where fushi is desensitized to it all that's the last thing that we want if you want to keep if you want to keep fushi's humanity that is not how you do it i get where he's coming from i genuinely do um and, and, and he's right he he's absolutely right the the more the more we we fushi does for um the creator uh, the more he he does for the creator, the more he he um, follows the creator and um, you know learns from him and learns how to be the creator. The more of his humanity he's going to lose, um, and, and that that is greatly unfortunate. But it is the best at the moment. It's the best way to stop the knockers, right? And that's kind of just the that's kind of where we're at right now. Is the, is that we're 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 fighting with ourselves in a way of uh, like at least from a viewer's point a uh, viewer's point of view we're kind of fighting with ourselves in a way with like the whole thing of, of trying to preserve fushi's humanity if we preserve fushi's humanity there's a good chance he doesn't kill as many knockers if we if we don't preserve uh fushi's humanity he kills more knockers maybe but he is he becomes exactly like the the creator, right? So I, I, it, it's a it's a tough sell. It's a tough sell. I'll say I'll say that much. It's it's, it's a very tough sell. Um, and, and the unfortunate the unfortunate thing about the about Kahaku and everything that he was saying, he sounded a lot like not he sounded a lot like the knockers. 
a lot like the, the, he he didn't fuck with with the creator he was he was like you know you you got to save yourself from the pain of living blah 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 you know life is pain and if you just don't think about it if you like relinquish yourself from from those feelings you won't have to feel pain anymore sounds exactly like the knockers um which yeah of course kahaku would be the one to sound like a knocker um so you can kind of see you can kind of see see with that where the line like where the line in the sand is drawn uh with kahaku sounding so much like one of the knockers whether it is whether it is him being influenced by his knocker the same way that he feels like he's being influenced or the same way he feels like fushi is being influenced by the creator or it's just since kaku is, is born to is a highest a descendant that's just kind of how those that's just kind of how he was raised right um i wouldn't be surprised with that either uh so it, it's it's tough it's tough i it all boils down to i understand what high uh, with um uh, i think i've been calling him hyro um it's i understand what kahaku's been what kahaku's trying to do i understand what he's trying to say he's not exactly going about it the right way that that that's the best i i, I can give you right like he's just not going about it the right way um it's a very tricky situation now um to double back a little bit um to the whole eternal warriors uh thing um i guess this is like the I guess this is what, what we can conclude the the discussion on um now that they have been revived and they have gotten like the whole uh spawn spawn sets and stuff like that and they die get re, re resurrected die get resurrected again stuff like that that is not a good <laughs> Now, Grant, this is this is a this is a, a battle. This is a war. You're not going to live a good life during a battle or a war, right? But to me, to me at least, seeing the warriors die and be reborn just to die again, there's something about that that does not sit right with me. Not because of the battle, but because of what that means for the future. As I said at the top of the video. I am not exactly for making or reviving these people, right? I at least I'm not for making them immortal, whether whether it's actually making them immortal or as we see here by proxy of Fushi just reviving them when they die. I'm not I'm not 100% on board with that. Reason being is that that is not exactly a good way to live. Um, if we go all the way back to the beginning, um, the first couple of episodes of this show, Perona says something that has still to this to this day of uh, rang true in my mind when it comes to the show is that it's sad that Fushi can't die. And that goes for everybody else. It would be sad if these people couldn't die because that's a part of being human. In fact, death gives our life a lot of meaning. So if the, so if these people have become immortals by proxy, of course, um, their life will eventually lose meaning and that's that's my fear is that being immortal is not all that it's cracked up to be and when when these people come back and stuff like that they're going to have to make the the choice on whether they want to continue living or not right and for a lot of them that's going to be a difficult choice to make live forever or decide that you want you want to you want to cut your life here and and say that that you know figure out whether you want to continue living the life that you're living right now or not um it, it just it doesn't make sense to live <clears throat> it doesn't make sense to live forever it just doesn't um 
it, it, it just i don't know man that that in itself could desensitize the pe uh the people that you revive and make them worse for wear <clears throat> so i'm not i'm not 100 percent on board with the whole revival thing it's just it's not I want to see everybody. I, I, I'm, I'm, I would be so hyped to see everybody. You know, Goo Goo, March, Tanari, uh, Leaguerd, Oniguma, uh, Mia, Uroy, uh, Sandal, uh, Upa. You know, everybody, bro. I, I would like to see everybody alive and well. But I do not want these people to live forever, nor do I think that these people will want to live forever. March might say, oh, yeah, I want to live forever. You know, like March is a kid. Unfortunately, March won't always be around Fushi. Fushi will have shit to do. Fushi will will go will have to go out and 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 fight knockers and, and shit like that. And will March want want to continue to to live on her own without Fushi? I'm not sure. You know, will Tanari want to continue living on her own without? I'm not sure. You know, it, it the the situation could change really easily, right? Like the it's not. I just I'm not okay with them being immortal I'm just not okay with them being immortal there's so many there's so many things that could go wrong with the whole immortal thing um, I, I just I don't know man I, I'm, I'm, I'm just not okay with it I'm happy about it I'm happy that they're back like the whole March March is doing great thing I'm so happy they brought that back that, that's such a great callback because it, it, it's exactly what what would would catch um, it's exactly what would catch Fushi's attention. Oh shit, March is doing great. I remember that, you know? Did Fushi was Fushi around when when Actually I don't think Fushi was around when when she wrote No, no, she was. She was he he was, he was, he was. Cause he did cause she did the whole March is doing great thing when they hit uh uh Hayase City. I forget what it's called. Yona Yona Nome or something like that. Uh, Yana Nome or something like that. That so he probably does know about it, and that's why he noticed it. Um, so it, it's, I, I I I can't get behind it. I can't get behind it. I'm happy about it. I'm happy to see March again. I'm happy to possibly see everybody else again. I can't 100% get behind literally turning them into immortals. It it just would it would not work. It would not work um so yeah i'm i'm happy though i'm i'm hyped though um i'm glad that we got this this uh episode of of seeing how well fushi could do with actual pieces on the board like the way that the way that we assumed um it would go right um bone was completely right in that in that aspect it was a good idea to to turn them into immortal warriors now granted we still got some some shit to to hash out with bone right that he's not off the hook he's not off the hook um i i have been i have been somewhat wary of of bone for a while now only because i know how like i fuck with bone and because i fuck with bone i understand bone he there's a good chance that that he may that he may be doing this for his own gain but in a lot of ways who cares right as as long as it uh preserves life as long as it, it's how we preserve life um or it gives us a better chance at preserving life then it's cool however in that pursuit to preserve life we have to make sure that we don't abuse abuse life as well um and turning people into a, immortals and continuing to bring them back may count as abuse towards life so um that's about it that's about all, all i have to say um this was a really good i mean they did they they really did good with this episode i i really fucked with this one um a lot of the past couple episodes have been set up towards this big battle and they did a pretty damn good job with the battle um love the whole war of attrition stuff and all the other stuff that that's great 
Um, I'm sure there's a couple things that I missed in this episode. I was kind of like focused on the whole immortal soldier staying. Um, but let, you know, let me know. Um, but it was a really good episode. So if you haven't already subscribe, like comment, all those stuff, you're just a lurker. I appreciate you too. If you have any requests, whether it be more hunt or oh my God, not hunter, hunter more to your eternity or something totally different. The best place to send that in is always my social media links going to be in the description below. And if you want these episodes early, subscribe to my Patreon links going to be in the description for that as well. I appreciate everybody that does subscribe to the Patreon. You are fucking amazing. Um, we also have a discord if you want to talk more to your attorney or anything else that we're watching on the channel So with all that being said, let me get my off button ready There it is you all stay amazing stay safe and take care of yourselves